Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel. Kahalayim la alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahusha, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. All praises to our power, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahusha, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel, Shalom. Shalom to the hopeful elect. More Edomites have COVID-19 than Israelites. More Edomites have COVID-19 than Israelites. I'm on CNN.com. And there's an article entitled, In Mississippi, more white people now have gotten COVID-19 than African Americans. Well, these people that you call white people are not white people. They're Edomites, according to the Bible. And the people that you call African-Americans are not African-Americans. They are Israelites, according to the Bible. From the tribe of Judah. But the point is, like it tells you in Mississippi, which really is all over, not just in Mississippi. It's all over America. More so-called white people. Really, more Edomites now have gotten COVID-19 than so-called African-Americans, than Israelites. Attitudes about masks might explain or might help explain why. Officials say, getting to the point, man, because I don't have to read this article for you. It's going to speak for itself, but the title really says it all because I ran through this article. Basically, to put it bluntly, to put it short, these Edomites do not wear masks. You know what I'm saying? See, these Edomites are hypocrites. They want to see Israelites do it. And Jake has no problem putting the damn mask on. But these Edomites do not wear a mask. All right? <laughs> it's comical, man. Which, this is a pandemic. It's all set up. It's staged. But there are people that have gotten sick. OK, it's not as bad as the media makes it seem, you know, but there are people that have gotten sick from this so-called COVID-19. And there are different strains of coronavirus. COVID-19 is just one of them. But basically. Even while I've been doing ride share, I've been seeing it, you know, doing Uber and Lyft. I pick up these Edomites. And either them or people that they know, which are other Edomites have gotten COVID. Them or people that they know have contracted this disease, but not one Israelite that I picked up, and I picked up many Jakes, not one Israelite that I picked up had COVID-19. You know? And let's say if it was one or two, you know, the, the number is so minute, minute, the number is so minute that I forget about it. But I can guarantee you the Edomites that I picked up, either they had it, and so-called got better, which they didn't give it to me. But either they had it or Edomites they knew had it. You know? No Israelites that I picked up had it, man. But the point is, you Edomites are getting plagued now. You are getting plagued. You don't abide by your own rules. You Edomites are hypocrites. But see, we're living during a time when the most side about to jack you up, man. OK, I'll read a little bit of this article and then I'm going to get some scriptures. This is on CNN. For the longest time in this pandemic, coronavirus had infected and killed. It says more African-Americans. I'm going to say Israelites killed more Israelites in Mississippi. And it says white people. But I'm going to say Edomites. Killed more Israelites in Mississippi than Edomites, which experts explain in part by pointing to racial health disparities in one of the most impoverished states. Right, because a lot of these different Israelites that have so-called got the coronavirus, they've gotten COVID-19, they already had pre-existing conditions because Jake is plagued. But now we're living during the time where you Edomites are getting plagued. Which really, you Edomites have been plagued for a minute 
But see, what's happening is now it's so obvious. It's obvious that the Most High is getting you. Okay? Most High been jacking you up. But what it is, Jake gets the stigma because you control the media. You put a label on Jake, make it seem like Jake getting the most of something or Jake does something the most, but really it applies to you. It applies to you. For example, dealing with welfare, dealing with food stamps. It's more Edomites on welfare, more Edomites that have food stamps than Jake, but they don't talk about that. And as far as the minority, you're really the minority, Esau, Edom. We're the majority, not you. But see, it's a status thing and y'all have the power, but, but that power is slowly but surely being taken away from you. Okay, let me read on. Early on, it says black Mississippians, Israelites, accounted for roughly 60% of the state's cases and deaths. The state health department says, but the tide has turned. But the tide has turned in the Magnolia State. And I got scripture for that. The tide has turned. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. Remember, the tide has turned. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So now it's time for you Edomites to be cursed. It's time for you to be plagued. Because like it tells you in Psalms, the 73rd chapter, these Edomites, the wicked, they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. The other men being the Israelites. See, we're plagued right now, but now it's all going to happen to you. Even things that are not written in the book. Even things that are not written in the book is going to happen to you Edomites. Because the Most High did certain things to the Israelites that are not written in the book. Certain curses that's happening to us. It's not documented, but the Most High is doing it to us, you know? And now it's going to happen to you devils, all right? And that's really the point on that. So, time of the downfall of our enemies, the Most High is jacking them up, and we ain't seen nothing yet. The Most High is really going to mess these Edomites up, you know? Yahweh Bashim Shai. let me be specific. Let me be specific. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, whom the world inwardly called Jesus Christ. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is going to mess you Edomites up. He going to jack you up. You know? The tide is turning. It has turned. It is turning. We're living during a transition. So you Edomites about to get effed up, man. You know, that's all I want on this article. You know, you can read the rest for yourself. And it's crazy because there was a mask mandate not too long ago. But see, they recently uplifted it, but then they put it back on seven other counties. Next thing you know, it's going to be all of Mississippi. But basically, see, you eat them as you want to put a label on Jake, Jake being sick, you know, Jake being more vulnerable for this disease. Because the people that caught the most hell were the people of Jackson, which is the capital of Mississippi. But see, you Edomites are being plagued, you know, in all these different counties surrounding Jackson. You know? And you Edomites are nasty, man. <laughs> Edomites ain't washing their hands. But just by nature, you're filthy people. But see, we're coming to find out you're not this, this cleanly, you know, this clean, uh, godly, divine people. You're not white. You know, you're Edomites, man. This Governor Tay Reeves, man, he's red as hell, you know. But yeah, uplifting that mask mandate didn't help a bit, man, for you Edomites. That's all I want on this, you know. We're living during the downfall of Esau. Let me say that again. We're living during the downfall of Esau. All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessed city elect. Shalom.